Welcome to our video presentation of EGL Community Edition. This video is part of an education and training series called Essential Web Services with EGL Community Edition. In this video, we demonstrate the basic configuration of the TCP IP monitor. We set up the TCP IP monitor to forward a request from our favorite web browser to www.eclipse.org. Once you know how to monitor a browser request, you can go on to monitor other TCP IP traffic, such as a web service transaction. The monitor listens on an unused TCP IP port. Traditionally, we configure the TCP IP monitor to listen on port 9000. When the port is not being monitored, our browser displays an error message, just as we expect. We have started the EGL Community Edition and switched to the EGL Perspective. To add the TCP IP monitor, we pull down the Window menu and then select the Show View and Other option. Now the TCP IP monitor is considered part of a suite of debugging tools, so we need to expand the Debug folder, select the TCP IP monitor, and press the OK button. This adds the TCP IP monitor view to our perspective. To configure the monitor, we need to find the menu icon, which is a down triangle. We press the menu icon and select the properties option. This brings up the TCP IP monitor properties. Let's add a monitor. And as I said, traditionally we monitor on port 9000. The local monitoring port is a port on this machine, and the host name that we're going to use is a remote computer, which is www.eclipse.org. And we're going to monitor the traditional www.http port 80. Now, we're not going to start the monitor automatically when we start our Eclipse. But the TCP IP monitor is actually running inside of Eclipse. So if you stop Eclipse, it stops the monitor. Now, we've added this configuration to our list of TCP IP monitors. You can add as many monitors as you want. And then we press the Start button. We select a monitor and press the Start button to start our monitor and you see the status is started. Now if we go back to our favorite browser and we click on the refresh button, now the request is actually sent to the monitor. The monitor forwards that request to www.eclipse.org and look, we have the Eclipse website in our browser. Now the purpose of the monitor is actually to show us the traffic that just went by. And you notice that the browser has not just sent one request to Eclipse.org, but it has sent several. Each request and response is on a separate, a separate line. Basically each connection that is made through the monitor is on a separate line. In the TCP IP monitor, when we're dealing with HTTP, we want to be able to see the HTTP headers. So we're going to click on the menu icon and select the Show Header option. Then when we click on a Request and Response Transaction, this is the header information that was sent up by the browser to the server on this side, on the left side. And then this is the response headers that are coming back from the server. And then this is the content that's coming back from the server, the initial page. Now, there's a reference in this page to a style sheet. So you'll see right here, there is another connection that is happening where the browser is requesting the style sheet. This, these are the headers that are sent up by the browser, this is the headers that are returned by the server, and this is the content of the style sheet. There's another reference to a style sheet, so it goes in 
uh, gets that style sheet as well. And so these are all the transactions just to display the home page of Eclipse.org. And we're able to see these because we're monitoring them. So setting up the monitor is monitoring all of the traffic that's going to port 9000. This has been a demonstration of the TCP IP monitor part of uh, Eclipse using the EGL Community Edition as an example. Thanks for watching.